I'm so abundant everywhere I go Look up at the sky, I can see the money flow My soul is a tree, every day I will grow Love and peace are the seeds that I only pen to throw What is up? It's me and baby girl Right here We are at our Warminster Park area About to do a nice walk I want to get some morning exercise in for sure. And then I am going to do one of my reviews today. I'm going to do a Sonic review. I have two reviews that I want to do. I got a Sonic review and then I got a KFC review. Because first off, ain't nobody tell me that KFC had wraps too. So everyone's just doing chicken wraps. We just all getting on board doing the same things and just adding better things. So... I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sonic has breakfast wraps as well. And they have all day breakfast. I love breakfast. If I can say my favorite type of food, it's most likely breakfast foods. I do love like my fettuccine Alfredo, of course, and I like my pasta. I mean like fettuccine Alfredo is hands down, like that's that's my favorite type of pasta, you know? So if we talk it warm, that's that's what it is. But breakfast food, I love breakfast. I love eggs, I love pancakes, I love chocolate chip pancakes, I love chocolate chocolatey pancakes. I like breakfast. I love French toast. I like cinnamon buns. I like breakfast foods. You, you catch my drift? I hope you catch my drift. So, I decided, I'm like, alright. I've tried, I've, I've tried the, um, Chick-fil-A's breakfast wrap, which is right now, in leading victory right now, as my favorite thus far. It beats me. That blows Burger King's wrap out the breakfast wrap burrito out the way. It definitely blows Starbucks out the way. Now, who else got a breakfast wrap? Okay. Wendy's don't have one. Wendy's, Wendy's just be having banging ass sandwiches. But either way, you catch my drip. You catch my drip. Now I know Sonic got a breakfast wrap. So after I take this walk, because it's 9:16 right now. And they don't open till 10 o'clock. So I'm going to slide over there next. And we're going to try some Sonic. We're going to try But we're not just going to try the breakfast wrap. I want to try the milkshake. Because I've never, ever had a milkshake from Sonic. So Sonic milkshake. And then the breakfast wrap. And then they got pickle fries that I want to try. So we're just going to be doing. Today is just going to be a Sonic review day. So I know I just went from the game yesterday. And today I just went on to my feud review so we're going to do a sonic review after a little bit of a walk so hopefully the birds are blessing us today because i want to see my beautiful cardi b's and my beautiful blue jays and my sparrows you know what all the birds all the birds all the birds all the birds are my birds i feel like i resonate with birds you know why because i got flighty energy as in like sometimes i'm m.i.a and i am gone they fly south for the winter I stay up here, but I like the South. I do like the South, you know. If I had wings, I'd be all over the place. I mean, I'd be trying to do the most already, but enough about me. But you ready to go for a walk, mamas? You ready for a walk? Is that a yes? You ready for walking? Yeah, that's a yes. See that tag with You ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like, Mom, yes, yes. All right, so let me get baby girl out. We're going to go on our walk. Maybe I'll record a little bit here and there. You never know. Who knows? TikTok is playing with me right now for some odd reason. I cannot, like, post videos. It's making me feel some type of way. Like, I can post videos, but it's like, something's going on. It's some funny business. And I ain't about it. Look at that. So that orb, you must know. All right. Let me get cracking with this walk. Come here. You don't realize a deer right in front of you? <laughs> She's like, I don't give a fuck, huh? <laughs> I don't believe he's falling. See, autumn is like the 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 best the best example of a beautiful death and rebirth and why we need to go through them. <laughs> like, like, see, all these leaves, just because they're on the ground, they still leaves. So well, they're making room. For the new sets to come through. That's how you gotta look at everything in your life. Yeah, we don't like restarting stuff. Yeah, we feel like uh starting over takes oops, sorry. 
Yeah, we feel like starting over takes a lot of time, but at the end of the day, time is time. <laughs> time really doesn't have much to do with anything. As I was saying, you always need a death and rebirth. And this is the month <laughs> where you'll probably notice that things are going to be dying out. Whether you are losing people, rest in peace. I'm not saying I want everyone to lose people, but we know how the world works and cycles work. But I'm talking about closing out cycles, closing out old patterns, closing out things that you normally don't close out. You know, whether it's changing your wardrobe, getting rid of all the old clothes, getting rid of all the stuff that you had for what, like 10 and over 10 plus years, five plus years. Do you really need it or can you give it to the next person? Can you are you able to give some of those old clothes and donate them? You don't got to throw them out. You know, you don't got to be like, oh, no, someone isn't worth my goods. Because that's just one, a shitty attitude. And two, that's not how you should be. That's not how you should act in general when it comes to people, places, and things. For real, for real. But that's just me, I guess. Hold on, I was going to go back this way. But that's how I feel, at least. That's how I feel, at least. Okay, alright. I didn't think the... Yeah, the sun's behind me, so I didn't want it to be so glary. But... Maybe I can go this way. But yeah. I say, personally, I've been getting rid of a lot of things lately. Like, I've been donating clothes, donating shoes. I throw away stuff that it cannot be recovered in no one i wouldn't want to give to the next person in that condition <laughs> but um other than that dang who started the dog controversy but other than that letting go is healthy is good plus you also get to declutter which is also good and healthy as well because one helps you think better you just feel more open then you can let in new you attract new that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do The more you get out of the old patterns, the better you're able to, you know, kind of achieve what you want to achieve. You're closer, I should say. You're getting closer. Every step to declutter and get rid of things is you telling the universe, hey, I'm ready for new. I don't need this anymore. Okay? I don't need this anymore and i don't want it and that's fine the universe is going to be like okay all right cool you're making room for something new let me bless you real quick with something new hi blue jay as soon as i say that a blue jay <laughs> but that's how manifestation works as well too like when you put out that you're ready to get rid of the old and you're ready to let new in the universe hears you and he sees it. He wants to see it in your actions. He doesn't want to just hear you say it. You'll say it, but you got to put the action behind it. What's the point of saying something if you're not going to put any action behind it? And why should you think anybody, especially the universe, is supposed to do things for you when you're not going to show them with your actions that you're serious about what you want? Same thing with relationships. I'm tired of being treated like poop. I'm tired of being with a cheater, okay? Are you? Because the universe is gonna say, okay, well, let go. Show me you're ready to let go. Yeah, it's not gonna always be easy. Yeah, you're not always gonna be happy about it. You might cry, but are you ready to love yourself? You ready to stop being with that cheater? That's what the universe is gonna say. And then if you make that move to cut out that person, cut out that cheater, the universe is going to bless you with many blessings, whether it's a new job, new car, just new attitude, a new look, or a new person that follows in your path. Not saying you have to jump real quick. Hi, Cardi B. Cardinal just flew in front of me. See? Not saying that you have to sit here and um, jump to the next person, but the universe is going to set you up to where... <laughs> to where 
you're open and you're able to receive. That's the whole whole part. Death and rebirth. Okay? Close out old cycles. Start new ones. <laughs> be open to new. Be open to possibilities because possibilities are endless. You're not limited. You, you don't, The only reason why you're limited is if you limit yourself. And that's pretty much the message I just want to get out. You know, it's November, it's Scorpio season. In tarot, they are the death card. And that death is about death and transformation. So tr transform your life into what you want it to be. Don't be scared. And that's all I got to say for you for right now. I'm enjoying the rest of this walk. And then see you in another video. My Javel out. <laughs> He put down the low, I started attracting, calling all of attraction.